Hi friends, I wrote a small book called Heal the System, Suggestions for Frustrated Youth. This book offers young people suggestions on how to heal society from within. You can download it for free in the link below. Everything I do is for free, no advertising, no sponsorship, no strings attached. The reason why I'm doing this is because 18 years ago I had a mental health crisis and I promised myself that if I found a way out, I would share it with others. So 18 years later, here's my YouTube channel, Mental Health Revolution, and my book, Heal the System. I'd like to read an excerpt from the book, which will shine light on its title. As a teenager, many of my friends joined angry riots and fought rival groups and police officers. F the system, they yelled. But violence only seemed to make the system stronger by amplifying the need for repression. I did not want to go down the path of violence as I found it counterproductive to both personal well-being and social change. I thought, we may be angry for good reasons, but anger doesn't have to become our raison d'être, our driving force. In dealing with society's issues, reacting with hatred is not the solution, but conforming blindly is not the solution either. Between the two extremes of fury and passivity, a wiser approach emerges and calls us to identify the ills of our society and to address them in a calm and systematic way. This is why I say, heal the system. The case I'm making in this book is that we young people will benefit from mindfully unpacking the frustration we may feel at society. Here is another excerpt. I believe we young people are endowed with an extra dose of frustration for a good reason, to bring humanity forward. Our future depends very much on our relationship to frustration. Not neglecting it and not letting it run amok, we can mindfully unpack our frustration and hear its message. So this book invites you to think about what's lacking in your life, what's lacking in your society and which daily habits can you establish to contribute to a healthier world. This is the table of contents. The first chapter is on strong emotions and mental health. The second chapter, a kind presence, is on mindfulness. Then, from victim to actor, discusses the proper mindset towards authority figures and the system. The true heroes discusses ideals and aspirations. Finding our place assists you in answering the question, what should I do with my life? The information age is about the media and electronics. Relationships about family, romantic relations, friendships, and communication. The animals is about animal welfare and making progress towards a vegan lifestyle. The earth is about the climate crisis and what we can do about it. Health is on physical health and lifestyle medicine. Money is about materialism and the economic system. Education is about the school system. The chapter piece talks about war prevention. And the last chapter, community, is an encouragement to build healthy communities. I started writing this book after a mindfulness retreat for young people in the United States. During the retreat, we had circle sharings, which are times for everyone to sit together in a circle and listen mindfully to each other. Participants can share honestly about what's on their hearts and 
because I knew these were rare opportunities for them, I gave young people all the space to share. And throughout that week, I only listened. But after the retreat, there were many things I wanted to share with them. So I began writing this book, the way we write a letter to a friend. English is not my first language and I am not a writer. But luckily, many friends helped me and I'm really grateful for that. I know this book is not perfect. Sometimes reading it, I feel I am not even following my own advice as well as I should, which is embarrassing. Another thing is I finished writing this book at the beginning of the pandemic. And in it, I don't mention the concerns that have been on my mind since then regarding medical freedom, freedom of speech, data rights and other human rights and this feels like a big missing piece. But overall, writing this book has helped me learn about writing, practice perseverance and nourish friendships. This put me on a growing curve. I know that learning how to write well, just like learning how to make good videos, will take me time. But I trust I'll get better if I just keep at it. Despite this book not being perfect, I hope you will find in it practical inspiration to make sense of your frustration, to live a happier, more meaningful life, and to contribute to healing society from within. I kept every chapter clear and concise, so it should make for an easy read. Please feel free to check it out in the link below.